Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Apache Tomcat server on Ubuntu 16.04. Now before we dive into the installation part of Apache Tomcat on Ubuntu 16.04, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is meant by Apache Tomcat. Apache Tomcat, often referred to as Tomcat, is an open source web server developed by the Apache Software Foundation. Tomcat implements several Java EE specifications including Java Servlet, Java Server Pages, Java EL and WebSocket and provides a pure Java HTTP web server environment in which Java code can run. Tomcat is developed and maintained by an open source community of developers under the auspicious of the Apache Software Foundation released under the Apache License 2.0 license and is open source software. The developer is Apache Software Foundation. The initial release of Apache Tomcat was done in 1999, about 17 years ago, and the current, if we talk of the latest version, the stable release is version 8.5.5, which was released on September 5, 2016, about 33 days ago. Preview release is 9.0.0.m10 alpha which was released on September 5, 2016 again 33 days ago. It's under the current development status and it is purely written in Java and it is purely cross-platform operating system dependent. If we talk of the type it is servlet container HTTP web server and if we talk of the official website you can see on my screen I have already opened the website that is called tomcat.apache.org. You can find more information regarding Apache Tomcat and you can find that the download version the latest is version Tomcat 9.0. So you can find more information regarding the various releases etc onto this website. Now if we talk of some history, Tomcat started off as a servlet reference implementation by James Duncan Davidson, a software architect at Sun Microsystems. He later helped me make the project open source and played a key role in its donation by Sun Microsystems to the Apache Software Foundation. The Apache and software build automation tool was developed as a side effect of the creation of Tomcat as an open source project. Davidson has initially developed hope that the project would become open sourced and since many open source projects have O'Reilly books associated with them featuring an animal on the cover. He wanted to make the project after an animal. He came up with the Tomcat since he reasoned the animal represented something that could fend for itself. Although the Tomcat was already in use for other O'Reilly title, his wish to see an animal cover eventually came true when O'Reilly published their Tomcat book with a snow leopard on the cover in 2003. Now if we talk of more uh, details of the Tomcat server, the Tomcat was released with Catalina that is a servlet container, Qote an HTTP connector and a Jasper which is a GSP engine. Now if we talk of Catalina, Catalina in Tomcat serverless con uh, servlet container, Catalina implements Sun Microsystem specification for servlet and Java server pages. In Tomcat, a realm element represents a database of usernames, passwords and roles assigned to those users and different implementations of realm or allow Catalina to be integrated into environments where such authentication information is already being created and maintained. Now if we talk of Qote, Qote is a connector component for Tomcat that supports HTTP 1.1 protocol as a web server. This allows Catalina, normally a Java servlet or JSP container, to act as a plain web server that serves local files as HTTP documents. Now we talk of the third important component that is called Jasper. Jasper is Tomcast JSP engine and Jasper parses JSP files to compile them into Java code as servlets. At runtime, Jasper detects changes to JSP files and recompiles them. So this was the brief introduction regarding the Tomcat server. Now let us dive into Ubuntu 16.04 which I have already installed as a fresh version into my VMware you can see over here and let us start with the installation part of Tomcat. Now before I start let me tell you that I will be covering step by step commands of installing Tomcat and all the commands which I will be covering you can find downstairs at the video. So let us log in in my Ubuntu 16.04 LTS server. So you can see all these commands are here uh, which means adding the Java repository, login with root then updating the system so every command will be done step by step. So these four commands I've already done because you can see in my channel I've already done lots and lots of videos regarding Java installation. So I will be covering with the, th with the fourth command itself so let us first of all login with root so su space minus and let us press enter with the password. So you can find the command Java 
space minus version you can find that the latest version that is 1.8.0 underscore 101 is being installed so let us first of all start with the update of the system so let us give this command that is apt hyphen get update so it will take some time in the starting because as you as you can see that it is the latest version of Ubuntu so Ubuntu 16.04 is somewhat slow in installation of the updating of repositories when we start at the beginning so till it done, let, let me first of all tell you that after that we will be installing Tomcat and some other Tomcat add-ons. So as it is locked, so let us unlock it. So let us give the command again. So again we have to go with this command again. So this is just a bug which we have to do so that we can uh, update the system. So again we have to run the command. So now you can see that it is working fine. So this is not a matter of fact that this problem can, can occur in your system also. So what you have to do is to give this command kill the process and then you have to update the system. Before uh, installing anything I recommend that unless or until you have not updated the system in a proper manner Tomcat will not run properly. So you can see that it is connecting with everything and the packages are being updated. So let us now fire with the command of tomcat that is apt-get install tomcat8. So I'm using tomcat8 the latest version because tomcat 9.0.0 it's still it's a preview release so it can have some bugs it is not a final version so I recommend that if you want to implement the tomcat server implement with version Eight right now since uh, till uh, 9.0 gets into the main stage so let's press enter now you can see that it is about 7 MB of disk space so let's press Y and press enter so it will install Tomcat but instead of installing Tomcat only I will be installing Tomcat docs examples and Tomcat admin so let us copy this command and let us give this command once it gets downloaded and installed because it will take some time depending on your net connection it will take some time so because as you know that uh, it has to maintain connections with the international servers so sometimes some international traffic can be there but uh, no need to worry it will be doing it fast you can see that it is getting good speed now so 50 percent has been downloaded let's wait for a couple of minutes so you can see that almost 90 percent we have completed so you can see that it has fetched about 8 MB in one minute so it is uh, unpacking everything and it is setting up everything now so you can see that the latest version Tomcat 8.0.32 has been installed so it is the latest version before Tomcat 9.0.0.m10 so let's paste this command so that we can find some add-ons with that so it is about a 6.5 MB of download so after that it's just simple we have to just uh, start Tomcat we have to restart the Tomcat with these commands and after that we have to open the browser with the web with this web address with the port number that is 8080 which is used for Tomcat so you can see all the docs examples and admin has been set up yes so now the tomcat has been set up so now what we have to do is to just find the i uh, is to just have to restart the service restart tomcat 8 so even you can check the status of tomcat by giving this command instead of reset that is status so you can see that it is active and running okay so now let us find the IP address of this machine that is 192.168.117.228 so let me copy this and let us go to the main browser and let's give this IP address colon 8080 so you can see that it works and the Tomcat has been installed so you can even click over here with the Tomcat examples 
let us give it this documentation here is a documentation and you can even go with some examples you can find with the servlet examples you can find hello world here the hello world is executed so request info you can even execute this also and you can even find the source code of these examples so before we go with this uh, that is called the admin we have to make some changes into our machine so here are the changes we have to open this file that is nano slash vas slash lib tomcat a slash conf slash tomcat users dot xml so let me clear this for you so that you can understand better so let's press enter so what you have to do is to come in in between this and you have to paste the file over here everything over here in the last before the users are there so that we can there so here are the roles that is manager GUI admin GUI and I'm giving the username my name and password as my name only so you can change it with them with some strong password as per your desire so let us set this yes so control X yes and press enter so now what we have to do is to restart the Tomcat server with the system CTL restart Tomcat 8 so that we can in integrate all the changes which we have done with the admin user etc so now what we have to do is to press the enter again and now let us go to this manager app it will ask you the username and password so let me give the username as my name and my name as the password so now you can see that I'm able to log in into the manager admin etc so even I can go back and go to this host user machine app I can just give my name again and my password so you can find Tomcat virtual host manager is running so in this video I have demonstrated how to install Tomcat server which is a free and open source software by Apache software foundation so do give this a shot you can see that this is very easy to implement so do like this video thank you so much for watching